Nevertheless, our past experiences, no matter how ugly or beautiful they may seem to us, they can still serve a purpose. The past should force us to take decisions for a better future by helping to inform the actions we take in the present. Even if our experiences differ, I hope we can all find the same encouragement in the words I will share next. As befittingly as we are in this beautiful cathedral today, I take my inspiration from the wisest man I know. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 11, to paraphrase it says, I saw that under the sun the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise, but time and chance happens to them all. As graduates looking into our future, we may have a presumption about life also, that a person's destination is predetermined by the characteristics, qualities they possess, or the people they know. We may feel worried about our prospects, that we may not have what it takes, or that we lack the connections in the right places to take us ultimately to where our dreams and our goals are. But we all grew up with people who had the qualities to make it pro in football, become a great politician, businessman, had a wealth of connections, and the list goes on. But life has not taken them to where we presumed they would be. Life does not follow such presumptions. Life doesn't guarantee us much. But it is what we do with the time and the chance that life does guarantee us, which will determine who we become and where we end up. Therefore, do not look down on yourself, do not be discouraged, and do not fear. Instead, when chance comes your way, take decisions as a wise man would, and be bold and courageous as a strong man should. Fellow graduates, take that chance, however and whenever it presents itself, no matter how small, for the little steps of today bring us closer to our desired destination in the end.